happening here. We first broke the news of the Water Fire documentary right here on the Road Show. And we have been busy following the crew over the past few months as they prepare for the red carpet premiere. The burning wood, the music, the crackling of the fire. The sights and sounds of water fire have been lighting up Providence for years. It has changed so much. It was a small little experiment to see if we could get the city excited about itself and stuff happening. And now we've added so much in terms of uh, community engagement, different ideas. It was only a matter of time before the story of how water fire started was told. I wanted to rebrand the city on a national and international scale, but I also wanted to um, encourage the community that lived here to take a fresh look at the city they lived in. Who would have thought that a simple idea would have entertained over 15 million people so far? I wasn't convinced that it was going to work either. It was more a gut feeling and then you adjust it and then you respond to it. So, you know, the potentiality of the larger scale that water fire has become, um, I wasn't convinced could happen. But it did. And now a documentary entitled Water Fire, Art and Soul of a City has been created. We put cameras in boats, on the street, in buildings, um, pretty much everywhere. Water Fire is full of stories of people who've worked really hard, of people we've surprised, of people we've touched in many, many different ways. And the complexity of pulling it off night after night, we make it fresh every time we do it. From the preparation in Providence to its journey in Rome, and now being made into a film, Water Fire has gone a long way. And I think the documentary will give a, a more thoughtful context for people to realize the complexity of what it is we do and the aspirations we have for what we'd like Water Fire to become. It has become a symbol in the city, one in which creator Barnaby Evans hopes others will draw inspiration from. If we can reignite people's interest in being a, a citizen that makes the city the best place it can be, we will have accomplished everything we want to do with Water Fire. The documentary will answer questions about Water Fire's beginning, how it's created every night, and even where the name came from. A good friend of mine named Sandor Bodo said, you know, you should call it Water Fire. And it was a brilliant idea, and uh, we've called it Water Fire ever since. All of the captured footage is then edited. We've uncovered some uh, wonderful old footage and some unusual footage of things people would never see at Water Fire. Producers dream to have so much good material to yeah. be condensed into less than one hour. Hours upon hours are spent. Well, here's another thing that we don't have them in very much. To get the sound just right. It's water and fire and magic. The piece looking its best. He stumbles on the it's second perfect for hours. Too bad. And ready for its fire. debut. When you see the terrific video that we have um, in that room that night, it's going to be impressive. And joining us now is Water Fire creator Barnaby Evans, along with Joe Rocco, president of Rock Joe Productions. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Michaela. Good to see you again. This has been highly anticipated for, for a long time now. Barnaby, tell us about this premiere happening on Saturday. Well, it's going to be such a fun getting of the whole community together to see once again, they're at the river at night, but now they're going to see behind the scenes. They're going to see some of our trip to Rome, which was uh, so much fun. We're going to talk some of the stories about, about, you know, that happened that night. Mm -hmm. But the film includes interviews with all sorts of people reacting to the change of the city. And it's such a, a feel-good feeling. We're looking forward to everyone coming together and see it. It'll be fun. And I know that there's two different tickets that can be purchased. So tell us a bit more about that. I mean, how they're still available, correct? There's tickets still available, Michaela. We're going to have a uh, celebrity on stage uh, party before a 6:30 to 7:30 reception, mm -hmm. catering by the fabulous Billy Pinelli. Yes. And it's just, we, that's why we're calling it a celebrity on stage party because you and Will and uh, yeah. Buddy Cianti will be joining us mm -hmm. and a few others. Um, so from 6.30 to 7.30, there's a, a VIP ticket, um, open bar, heavy hors d'oeuvres, premium seating. And then there's a general reserve ticket um, for uh, doors opening at uh, 7, 7.30 and the screening at 8 o'clock at thevetsri.com or they can go to the PPAC box office today or tomorrow. And on the day of the show, the Vets, now again, it's at the Vets, right. um, um, uh, which is a beautiful theater. They can go to that box office day of the show or call 421 Arts. It's going to be a very special evening. Definitely. Barnaby, what does this mean to you to finally have this 
complete. Oh, well, it, it's, well it's, it's so much fun to visit. We, we went through the archives, we found this old footage, uh, some of the uh, more notorious early tests that didn't work, we'll, uh, we've brought out of the vault, I think. Well, we could have uh, created yeah, a yeah. blooper reel with yeah. that one, yeah. Which, yeah. We, which we still might do. Yeah, we yeah. still might do. Uh, but it's a chance to hear so many different voices reflecting back on Providence that they remember before and the changes. Mm -hmm. And then we talk a little bit about some exciting things we want to do for the future. And we're going to have a special announcement, too, after the films that uh, you'll be first to hear. Very nice. And Joe, I, I was uh, you know, going through all this footage of doing the interviews with you guys for the behind the scenes stuff. You mentioned that you thought you knew water fire until now. Well, I've learned a tremendous amount. And this has been a producer's dream because we have shot and collected over 50 hours of video for this. Wow. That's been edited down to 59 minutes. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, being in the business, uh, what a nice challenge, difficult challenge that <laughs> yeah. is. So I learned a lot along the way. Um, people are going to get some great insight into um, water fire, hearing from professors of art, experts from urban landscape, all the way to characters um, like Buddy Cianci and Bob Burke. And we, Spaga, Spaga the, the fire, fire dancer, yeah. it, and he will be there. Uh, we're yeah. not going to say where, we, where we're going to put him. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's top secret. We can't give that away. He will be there Saturday night. <laughs> nice. um, but um, we learned a lot. And we, one segment goes behind the scenes just to show how hard the water fire staff works to put one of these on. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, it they is. start early, early in the morning. Uh, I don't want to give it all away. It's an unbelievable army of people that mm -hmm. descend. And they don't do it just once, which would be amazing as it is. They do it 12, 14 yeah. times a year. Yeah. Yeah. We have I another mean, one coming up December 14th. And, and, and after Barnaby watched that segment, because he wasn't with us through most of the editing of that segment, mm -hmm. he, I remember you said, boy, I'm tired just watching that. <laughs> and he goes through it all the time right, yeah. for 18 yeah. years and counting. Yeah. Right. So a lot to look forward to. That additional water fire, you said, too, yep. coming up yeah. a little later um, on in December. I want to thank you both so much for coming in. And we're excited for Saturday, the premiere of Water Fire Documentary. If you want ticket information, just head to WPR. WPRI.com and click on the road show.